how are you feeling less than two weeks now how's tra like training gone how's preparation gone I'm feeling absolutely amazing you know like I said prior you know I'm in the best mental physical emotional state that I could be in you know I wish I could fight this weekend um, honestly I'm ready to go there's no more training that I could possibly do and I've left no stone unturned you know from the sparring to the road work to the strength and conditioning to the diet everything's been down to the T um, and I'm just ready to go out there and perform and show everybody that you know this is a one horse race Mm -hmm. obviously you're saying you're in the you know the best shape you've been in mentally and physically has this you know this has been a very long-term thing with Jake for going all the way back to December 2021 Yeah. you know I've seen today you know Molly's now apparently like blocked the pool family all of that stuff like in terms of you and your family how much of an ordeal has this whole thing and how much of a stress has it been throughout the last couple of years Um, it's it's been stressful when we couldn't get the fights over the line, you know, and what's, and what's cropped up, you know, preventing those two times. But apart from that, it's not stress at all. You know, I know the fight game, Um, you know, it needs a two to tango. And that's it. Jake Paul's a great dance partner at the end of the day. We've both created a massive event between the two of us. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's been great. But, you know, it can't be stressed when, you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm, I'm a professional at this game. I've seen a lot of mind, game, mind games going before. You know, I've seen it with Tyson. When, when Klitschko tried to do it years and years ago when I was 15 years old, you know, this guy, wow. he's, um, he's just a good talker. That's it. You know, nothing per nothing personal. It is what it is. It does business. You know, I, he's just another guy in the opposite corner that I got a knockout, and that will be done just, oh, just under two weeks now. I suppose that that's quite an interesting point because, you know, like you've said in previous interviews, this is the biggest fight profile-wise of your career so far. But do you think having been in there with Tyson and having watched him you know, go through the fights with Klitschko, with Dylan White, with all of that stuff. Has that benefited you massively in terms of not listening to Jake, that sort of thing? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think a lot of people forget, you know, I've, I've been around Tyson, you know, and seen, seen him prepare for fights since I've been 12 and 13 years old. You know, I've seen yeah. a lot of people, you know, a lot of training camps, a lot of big fights. You know, at the end of the day, I know, I, I've, you know, I know what to do in these situations. Um, I've seen Tyson go through these big, these big moments before. And I'm no different. You know, I, I, I'm i locked in, focused at the job at hand, and that's it. Uh, you know, there's nothing else that needs to be said or done. You know, the fight is hyped. Everybody's looking forward to it. And uh, it's going to be a great night on the 26th for me and my team. Hmm. Is, a, is a win enough for you? Can you win on points and be satisfied or even your reputation? How, how far do you need to go here? This fight will not go to points. Um, you know, there's no way Jay Paul will hear this, will hear this final bell. Um, it, it could be done in, in one round. You know, when I, whenever I hit him with the right punch, you know, whenever I connect cleanly on him, whether it's to the body or the head, he will he will go and he won't recover. Um, I'm very confident in that. One shot is all it's going to take. One shot is all it is going to take. One shot is all it ever needs to take, um, especially with the likes of this guy who hasn't been hit right in his full career. Um, you know, if Jake Paul's never been hit, you know, what happens when Jake Paul sees a blue flash? What happens when Jake Paul's legs go a bit heavy? You know, you're going to see the true makings of that. Um, and you can only get used to those situations and impressive situations through being being in them. Um, at the end of the day, he's just, it's a guy who has no idea what's coming to him. That's it. For sure. Can I, can I ask, you did say at the start, you know, it's not personal, it's business. After everything that's happened and all the mocking and all of that, after the fight, will there be a handshake? Will, will you respect each other or what do you think? I mean, we're going to have to wait and see after the fight. You know, we, we have to see how, 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 how he takes his loss. If he wants to be bitter and sour about it, there'll be no handshake. But if he says, you know what, I got beaten by the better man. We, we had a hell of a ride. Yeah, no problem. I'll shake his hand. You know, it is what it is. The fight game is the fight game. It is what it is. Things get said, things get done, and that's that. Um, but yeah, it just depends on how well he's going to handle his loss. For sure. I want, I want to ask, sticking stuff like the YouTube scene, you know, you, you've said constantly your your goal is the world title, right? You're, mm. you're a pro boxer, like, forget this YouTube stuff. Another guy who's called you out a billion times is KSI, and he's saying, I'm going to fight the winner. Will you even entertain that? Will, will you fight KSI, or will you be looking to leave this alone then? Like I say, you know, we've all, I always think about the next day, um, you know, and we've got, we got to get past February 26th. No matter how, what, if, what's, you know, we'll get past February 26th, and then we'll... We'll, we'll look at all the options in front of us. But, you know, I have, I have a funny feeling a lot, a lot of guys ain't going to want to fight me after seeing what I do to this man on the 26th. For sure. I, I want to ask, going, going back to Jake then, I mean, I'm interested because he's sort of made a lot of comments, you know, even going to like the UFC about fighter pay, about all of this. 
how has he actually been to negotiate with behind the scenes? Jay Paul is, um, you know, he is what he is. You know, he's he's circus act. You know, his whole persona, um, the way he deals with things, the way he, you know, tries to negotiate, it's all a bit of a circus act, to be fair. Um, but I'm glad we got everything over the line. Yeah. You know, I've got a great team behind me, a bit more of a professional team. Um, so I believe that's the reason why we're over the line for this fight. Mm -hmm. And what do you actually make of him as a fighter? Like, and obviously you've dismissed him a lot in the past. But is there any part of you that is quite impressed with what he's done in such a short space of time? No, no, sorry. I wish I wish I could say yes, but beating two, you know, 40-odd, 50-year-old guys, you know, that doesn't really do much for my boat. Beating a wrestler isn't, you know, doesn't do anything for me. Beating an M NBA star doesn't do anything for me. And beating, a, I think, a four-foot-one YouTuber in Gib, that doesn't do anything for me either. Um, you know, Jake Paul's is what he is. He's fought absolute jokers. Uh, he's put together some sort of a resume um, of six guys. And that's it. And um, that's all. That's all there is to be said about Jake Paul and his record. There's nothing that he does, or you know, suggests that he's going to cause me any problems. I'm just so confident in that. There must be some credit you can give him, considering. I mean, he only started fighting like four years ago. Like you say, you were beating amateurs who were, were as good as him when he was when you were 12, 13, 14, yeah. 15. You know, there must be some credit where he's picked up the sport. I mean, we're not saying he's a world class athlete, but he's picked it up reasonably quickly, right? I'll tell you what, the one thing that I'll give him credit for is an amazing PR machine. That's what I'll give him credit for. He can sell a fight. So maybe after he loses to me, he'll hang up the gloves and he'll go into promotion and um, he'll be the best promoter in the world. We'll see. Do, do you think he's good for boxing or not? Listen, he brings new eyes to the sport. You know, mm. all these kids that are following him on social media who might oh. not have ever watched boxing, you know, just because Jake Paul's coming to boxing now, they're going to cross over and watch him. So, yeah, he's bringing new eyes to the sport and it's um, it's a good light in that sense. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you, because also I know in terms of your preparation, you've moved out of the house with Molly now. Was that a difficult decision to make and how has that been? Is that is that difficult or not? So, for the majority of the camp, you know, I was making sacrifices and everybody knows what those sacrifices are. You know, I'm back in the house now as the camp comes to a close. Um at the end of the day, it's been amazing. You know, like I said before, Molly's an absolute gem. She's gone above and beyond to make sure that my training camp stays as a training camp um, and that I have no stress. And that's exactly what it's been. You know, um, I've made a lot of sacrifices for this without going into detail. And those sacrifices will come out on the night. Um, and Jake Paul, Jake Paul will feel every single one of them. Mm -hmm. and in terms of, you know, this is going to be the first fight you've had since becoming a dad. Has, has your outlook on fighting and on sort of everything has it shifted a lot and will it be do you think you're going to be more sort of emotional on the ring or how, how is that going to work no at the end of the day i'm very i'm very driven to do what i do and i don't tend to mix my private life and business and you know work life um you know i know what i'm fighting for and that's my little girl right now as of two weeks you know that's what i'm fighting for now you know it's no longer me myself and i it's me and my family um at the end of the day you know it's not going to make me any more emotional you know i'm very you know, bulletproof kind of guy, you know, I, I know what I have in front of me and I know what I need to do to get him out of the way. And that's that, you know, um, that that's it. I know what I have in front of me and I know what I've got to do. Mm -hmm. I, I also want to ask, do, do you, you know, there's a lot of talk on the, and I, I think I know the answer because, you, you, I mean, you come across incredibly confident and pretty calm and collected, but like Jake Paul's whole shtick really is that you're going to buckle under the pressure. There's a lot of pressure. Do you feel any pressure at all knowing that, you know, you have to win this fight for the sake of your career and your family name? No, definitely not. I mean, as I've said time and time again, my last name's Fury. You know, ever since my, my first ever amateur fight. Oh, it's Tyson's brother. Let's see if he can fight or not. Oh, it's his next fight. Let's, let's have a look. There's always been pressure. You know, there's always been pressure. There was pressure on the Wembley fight. There was pressure in my first fight in America. There was pressure on the chief support to Floyd Mayweather. I've had big, high, high-profile fights before, you know. But um, obviously, granted, this is you know huge, but pressure and all that sort of stuff will not come into this fight. What would be a factor if that's all he's banking on? Then he's going to be in for a painful night. <laughs> for sure. D does it hurt on the other side of the spectrum? Then does it bother you at all when you see people involved in the boxing industry, your Teddy Atlases, your people sort of in the know in boxing when they you see them perhaps predict that Jake will win? Does that rub you up the wall? How does it make you feel? Um, no, not at all. I mean, everybody's um, you know, got an opinion. Everybody's gonna have an opinion, and that's that. Uh, but I think for this fight, a lot, you know, there's there's a lot of jealousy floating around. Um, 
I feel like people nowadays, because, you know, they're not that nicest people. I think people make assumptions and comments basically, you know, based off a lot of jealousy. Um, and I believe that, you know, people are bitter and sour that they have to fight 50, 60 fights, you know, to get to this stage where where we're at after, you know, six and eight fights. You know, so people, you know, they're very, they're very jealous in that sense. But that's not for me to worry about. That's for them to sorrow themselves in bitterness. You know, I'm happy for everybody. Hope everyone does well. But, you know, at the end of the day, people's always entitled to their own opinion. Doesn't matter to me. For sure. Can I ask? I, I was looking this up today and I couldn't, I, I'm searching it and I wasn't sure. Who, who is actually your primary trainer for this fight? My dad's my primary trainer. He's always been my primary trainer. Mm -hmm. um, and for everyone's out there saying, you know, we can't do this and we can't do that. Well, this is just another fight where we're going to show you all what we can do. Um, but we've added, you know, we've got a great team. You know, we've added to that team. We've got Alex Mavienko, Bob Howard, you know, they've been in the game. They, they've coached a lot of great fighters over the years. Um, obviously, Tyson's in, in the camp. Tyson will be there on fight night. So I've, I've got a winning team. You know, I've got the best fighter to ever live in on my side. And I've got God on my side. And I've got those two. And, you know, that's all I need. So who, who will be in your corner on the fight night? But in my corner, I believe. My dad, Bob. Um, so my dad, Alex Matvienko, Bob Howard. And I think Tyson might make an appearance in the corner as well. I think you'll have to tune in for that. Yeah. Do you think um do you think that might intimidate Jake on the other side? I think Jake's already intimidated. Um, you know, every every bit of news I see on him, you know, he's very white, he's very pale in the face. Um, he looks like he's been struggling for sleep. Um, and he doesn't look confident to me. You know, I I've been in this game a long time, so is my family, um, and we can all see signs when we see him. So uh I'll leave Jake to have the sleepless nights. Yeah, can I can I push you on that actually? Is so is Tyson definitely gonna be in the corner, or is that something that we can sort of hope to see or is he definitely going to be there well I guess you have to tune in on BT Sport Box Office ESPN <laughs> wherever you are around the world to see that 